All right, y'all. So this is what I did and what I figured out. Okay, I couldn't. The bolts I found. These are 13s. Can't use them here because I won't be able to turn them. But since they're the same size as the real set bolts, I should have enough room to turn them to tighten them down. So I'm gonna use those there and take the ones for the rear sets and we're gonna use them for the master cylinder. At least we're gonna try to do it that way. Let's see now we can get you, get it together. So all you're doing is you're putting it in the back and then you're just tightening them down. The holes usually line up on every one I've ever did. They've never been, you know, way out. Which I think this one is going to be out. Yep. I may have to drill this. Man. Yeah, hey, y'all, everything <laughs> so far seems like everything on here is, is off. And it's supposed to be the fit. <sighs> like I say, the stuff we get from China, it seems like every last piece be off. Yep. I'm going to have to bring this hole up a little bit and that hole down a little bit. Just so that the screws will match. Ah right, well, yeah, I know the deal. Hold tight. Okay, so this is what I decided to do. I got one bolt in. I just stuck the pin through here. I haven't put the clamp on the back yet. Just kind of looking at it. Also, right here, you could adjust it up or down for your for your comfort. But up here. I decided to use, or what I'm going to use, is a, um, a nut, a nut, and a bolt. I'm gonna look through my stuff. I know I should have one with a castle nut because I don't like it to back off. Because I don't want to keep just grinding that hole out. Okay, okay. So, just put our pin in the back. Kind of straighten it out a little bit. Yeah, so. Put the pin in the back here. So if that don't come out, bend one side over. Now. Let's see if we can get the real set. It also allows me to put the bolt for the real set back too. Because I'm only going to use one. We got to see if we can get this other one. This 13. You know something? Just thought about it. I got a, what you call it? That other 13 is shorter. That way I won't be all day. Now I will be taking these back off the bolts, but I'm going to do them one at a time because I have to go get me some Loctite. I'm just going to put it, it's, it's a touch, but I want to make sure everything is good, you know? All right. Yeah, perfect. So all I got to do is find my bolt for there. I can also put my boat back in the back there, which hangs up here. 
the one for here. Trying to see. Okay. So what we gonna do for that? Is we gonna use the zip tie. Because on the other one, it was on the other side. So that's why I'm gonna use a zip tie. You know, sometimes you have to be a little creative. Yeah, come on out of here, you. Yeah, zip tie act like it didn't want to go in there. That's it now, and that'll work. Now, what I have to do, leave my brakes, and that should do it for the rear. Oh, I'm gonna cut that off, but yeah, that should do it for the rear. Put my screw, got my piece here still in there, and that's for your lights. That the little, um, what you call it? That's for your lights. All right, so let me get to bleeding my brakes, and I'm, I'm gonna call this video here. Everything's looking good. Also got adjustment pretty good for my feet. But don't forget you can adjust it also. So I, let me find my bolt here. Out of my, I got a, a whole thing that I, um bolts and washes that I got from Harbor Freight. So I'm gonna find my bolt, bleed my brakes. I think I'm gonna bleed my brakes first. So thank y'all. Don't forget to like, subscribe.